Hi there guys, uh, this is Az here. Uh, thanks a lot for checking out another one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you a paradiddle fill. Um, I love paradiddles, but this specific one is one that I see Simon Phillips use a lot. If you don't know who Simon Phillips is, I would definitely say check out some of his videos, listen to his work with some of the many great artists he's played with. There's too many to name right here, but some notable ones are Jeff Beck and Toto. And yeah, so moving on, this fill, like some of the other fill lessons I do, they don't actually start on the one. Reason I like to do these kind of fills is because they just make things, they create a rhythmic illusion that it's not actually being played, like there's it's in a different time signature, even though it's not. So there's a transcription for it below. The whole concept of this is it mixes up paradiddles and then uh, just have a, have a look at the transcription below. I could explain it, but I'd be here all day like I have done in some of my other videos. So here we go. I'm going to just play the lick for you slowly. So what I'm going to do for you now is play the lick around the kit and just show you what you can do. And then I'll play, just as I do in other videos, just a sh few different examples of different speeds. And it usually just be one sort of fill, but feel free to adapt it as you wish once you get the hang of the sticking pattern. And if you're gonna solo with it, I'm going to do what I do and play you a few different examples at different speeds. Once again, thanks a lot for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to help me further, feel free to hit the subscribe button and like this video as well because it helps me along the way. If you've got any questions or any requests or anything you'd like me to do drum-wise, please feel free to just give me a shout by hitting the message button or leaving me a comment below. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.